As of making this video, the Star Wars Outlaws trailer released by Ubisoft has been getting massively, and I mean massively, ratioed by the crowd. Even amongst the rumors of bots boosting up the video uh, likes ratio. And I can think of a few reasons after checking the link at the end of their uh, trailer video to uh, pre-order the game. Uh, where you're supposed to be getting uh, pre-order bonuses for, uh, well, you know, that shitty business model that every single gaming company is using nowadays. But there is something different this time. They have actually released several editions for the game. Like, there is the standard edition where you get the uh, base game. Uh, it's an open blah, blah, blah. Uh, as well as the uh, pre-order bonus, which is cosmetic packs for your speeder and your uh, trailblazer spaceship. The shitty part starts here. The gold edition, and uh, I I'd like just to point out the uh, pricing for the standard edition is 70 euros or 70 dollars, depending on where you live. For the gold edition, it's $110, so there's a $40 spike in here. That, that's basically another game. You get three days early access and season pass. Yeah, so for the season pass, you get an entire exclusive mission that's locked behind a $40 or $40 Euro, uh, paywall. As well as uh, another character pack uh, featuring cosmetics, but that's whatever, I guess. But the game isn't fully purchased at $70. Can you believe? $70 and I still don't get the entire game. And this is coming from the company that uh, has released a statement calling, uh, calling gamers to uh, stop getting used to owning games uh, because they want to push people towards their subscription model. They don't actually want you to purchase any of those. They want to uh, push you onto this model, uh, which is either $18 a month or um, 17, uh, 18 euros a month, uh, depending on where you live, again. Uh, they want you to join their uh, Ubisoft Plus service, which is basically uh, sort of Netflix uh, type of subscription, but for games. Uh, and here is the exact quote by the guy himself, uh, just in case anyone thinks I'm making this up. Uh, this is actually a huge part of the comment section underneath the uh, trailer video which hugely contributed to the dislike ratio that's um, happening in the video itself. Now, in case that you don't understand why this might be problematic, according to this, at some point they can just stop uh, the, the Ubisoft service, the Ubisoft Plus service, or just stop uh, hosting the game or uh, just decide that okay uh, the, the shelf life for this game is over and this game will just be deleted from your library you, you won't be able to access this game anymore no matter how much you've paid for it even if it's not an online game They're like from what I understand uh, that the Star Wars game is a single player game just imagine a single player game getting automatically deleted off your computer. Now, to another part uh, that's, uh, that everyone is buzzing about lately. And just in case someone is trying to use the uh, technology as in their yet defense, here is an image for uh, Miranda Lawson from Mass Effect 2, which was uh, released in 2010, which is 14 years ago, by the way. Holy shit, I'm old. Anyways. This game was released 14 years ago, and this was a, the result of uh, the tech back then. This is supposed to be the result for the tech now. This is on the right is the model for uh, the, the character, and on the left is the character in the game. And you have the right to think that I've taken an unflattering shot from the trailer and I'm comparing it to the model for the character. So here are some other shots uh, that are displayed on the screen from the same trailer. But let's talk about the positive. Look at this little guy. Holy shit, he's so cute. This is not a limitation of the tech. This is a deliberate attempt to, you know, normalize ugly models to make gaming more. Hashtag inclusive. I don't mind average or ugly looking characters, but can't you just, you know, um, 
make this optional like let us make a custom model of our own i want to make my ugly face in the game but this is not an option in the game i guess i mean the mass effect you can make your character ugly as fuck there are the default uh jane and john shepherds of course but you can make uh, an ugly character if you'd like this is just my personal opinion but if if i wanted to look at something ugly i'd go look in the fucking mirror like seriously we play games to escape our shit reality we prefer to look at something that's um, well we can't do ourselves we can't look like this and we do realize this even though um you know pretty people exist in real life uh, i don't know if you guys um have like windows maybe you should just open a fucking window and check out people outside pretty people exist in real life and people are drawn to these larger than life characters because of how amazing and beyond our capabilities they can be Take for an example someone like Darth Vader, he's someone from the uh, Star Wars franchise. Darth Vader is way beyond what any human can be, he's so fucking badass, everyone loves Darth Vader. Darth Vader is always in people's top like, three villains of all time in all fiction. And yet nobody does relate to Darth Vader, like I, I fucking hope not. But nobody is like Darth Vader in real life. Nobody relates to Darth Vader on practically any level. And that is the charm of the character. He's not like us. He is beyond. He is beyond human. And that is what makes Darth Vader so appealing and so awesome. I hope, I hope so for, uh, you know, the sake of gamers out there. The stupid fucking pricing model. This, this new uh, subscription model that they're trying to push is going to be horrendous for the future anyways um that's it that's the video